11.3f, add and subtract rational expressions, add and subtract with different denominators. To add or subtract, we build up the denominators by multiplying by the missing factors. This means we must first factor the denominators. In our first example here, in our denominator, we have a difference of squares. So we have x minus 3, x plus 3. In our second one here, we have x plus 3, x minus 2. Okay, so that means our LCD for this is going to be x minus 3, x plus 3, taking each unique factor, times x minus 2. So we write down the numerator in our first term, and we multiply it times the missing factor. In this case, it would be x minus 2. Now we write down the sign in the middle, plus our second numerator, and we multiply it times the mis its missing factor. In this case, it would be x minus 3. So now we expand this out, giving us 2x squared minus 4x plus 5x minus 15. Combine like terms, we're going to get 2x squared plus x minus 15. So let's look at factoring that. Only one way of factoring 2x squared. And let's see, we need 15, huh? So I think we'll put our 5 here our 3 here, we want a positive x, so that means we want a positive 6 and a negative 5. We'll now write our denominator below that. So we have x minus 3, x plus 3, and x minus 2. Take out our common factors. Looks like just the x plus 3, and that will leave us with 2x minus 5 all over x minus 3 times x minus 2. And we'll leave the denominator in a factored form. So in example 2 here, we'll fact start by factoring the denominators. Only one way of factoring x squared, and only one way of factoring 3. So we're going to have a negative 3 and a positive 1. And for our second one, only one way of factoring x squared, and only one way of factoring 5, and we're going to be adding them up. So it looks like our LCD then is going to be x minus 3, x plus 1, and x plus 5. So we write down our n first numerator, which is 2x plus 7. We're going to use parentheses. We're going to multiply by the missing factor here for this one, which is going to be the x plus 5. Write down the sign in the middle, and we need to have parentheses here because it is a binomial write down the numerator, and then write down the missing factor, which looks like it's going to be x minus 3. We're going to FOIL this out. I'm going to do this real quickly and, and basically in one step. So you may need to off the side somewhere on scratch paper and do it for yourself. We're going to get 2x squared. See, so we have 10x plus 7x gives me 17x.
plus 35. Oops. And then we write down our negative and we want to put our second in parentheses because we'll need to distribute that negative. And we're going to get 3x squared. Let's see, what do we got? Negative 9 and a negative 2 gives me a negative 11x and a positive 6. Okay, so now we have 2x squared plus 17x plus 35 minus 3x squared plus 11x minus 6. Now we want to combine like terms. So we're going to get a negative x squared plus, let's see, 28x and a positive 29. Now this right here, we're going to um, change our signs. We're going to basically, we're going to factor out our negative, 1. So I'm just going to do off this to side here. I'm just going to go like this so we can tell that that's something different. We're going to pull out a negative 1 here and write this as x squared minus 28x minus 29 because it'll be easier for us to factor that. So only one way of factoring our x squared and only one way of factoring 29 we want a negative 28, so it's going to be a negative 29. So we'll have a negative 29 and a positive 1. Now we're going to put our denominator under that, which is our LCD. We're going to have an x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 5. Common denominator is the x plus 1. So here we are going to distribute that negative through there. So we're going to get a negative x plus 29 all over x minus 3, x plus 5. And we're done.